Let's begin quiz quest. Dude, why is he doing it? Option oh my B. God. It's the wrong answer. You guys did it! Hey everyone, welcome to an exciting evening of fun and finance at the Masters Union campus in Gurgaon. I'm Sharon Hegde, your host for Masters Union Quiz Quest. I'm here with some of the top high school minds. We have six schools here today. These students are handpicked among India's most premier schools. They're here to battle it out, to find out who is the top and the smartest finance mind among India's most premier schools. All right, let's begin. Quiz Quest. So we have Pathway School, the Heritage School, Lotus Valley International School, Shiv Nadar School, Gurugram, Aravali International School, Shiv Nadar School, Faridabad. So this quiz has three rounds. The first round is called Finance Mania, where you guys will be judged on your knowledge of the financial world. Each right answer will give you three points, but you'll also be penalized for giving a wrong answer of one point. Also, not everyone will be moving to round two. Round one will see two of your teams being eliminated. Round two is real world finance, where you'll be given real life questions of real finance problems faced by Indians, and you'll be asked which option should they choose on how to improve their financial health. Here, every right answer will give you three points, and every wrong answer will deduct two points. And after round two, a further two teams will be eliminated for a final standoff with just two teams. The last round, as the name suggests, is the face-off. In this round, we will ask some of the most hidden facts about finance. The stakes go very high over here. Every right answer will give you three points, and every wrong answer will deduct three points. All right, let's begin, and may the best team win. All right, first question. In India, what is the maximum income tax rate for individuals in the highest income slab? Option A, 20%. Option B, 25%. Option C, 30%, and option D, 35%. Okay, Aravali International School. Option C, 30%. It's C. C, option C, 30%. That's, that's correct. Thank you. Cool, next question. In India, what is the upper limit of civil score? Option A, 500. Option B, 750. Option C, 900. Or option D, 1000. Pathway School, Gurgaon. Option C, 900. That's right. Next question. Are you guys ready? Out of these, which Indian company went public through an initial public offering after the SEBI regulations for startups changed, allowing for a faster IPO process? Option A, Zomato. Option B, Paytm. Option C, Nika. Or option D, Mama Earth. Shiv Nadar School, Gurugram. Option D, Mama Earth. Option D, Mama Earth is wrong. Minus one. Who pressed the buzzer next? Shiv Nadar School, Faridabad. Option C, Naika. Option C, Naika is also wrong. Minus one. The correct answer is... Zomato. Okay, here's the score tally so far. Shiv Nadar Gurugram, minus one. Lotus Valley, zero. Shiv Nadar Faridabad, minus one. Aravali International, two points. The Heritage, zero. And Pathway School, two points. Aravali and Pathway School are tied at two points. You guys ready? Who is the current RBI governor of India? Option A, Nirmala Sitaram. Option B, Raguram Rajan. Option C, Anurag Thakur. Or option D, Shakti Kanta Das. Heritage School? Shakti Kanta Das. Option D, Shakti Kanta Das. That is correct. You guys get three points. The LTA, or Leave Travel Allowance. I can see somebody already putting their hand on the buzzer. The LTA, or Leave Travel Allowance, is available for how many travel journeys in a block of four years? Option A, two. Option B, one. Option C, four. Or option D, three. Option B1. Shiv Nadar Gurugram. Option B1. Option B1, are you sure? Yes. Should I lock it? Yes. It's wrong. Who is next? Three options left. No. <laughs> 33% chance of success. Go on, come on. 
All right, Pathway School, Gurgaon. Option D, three. Option D, three. So you are telling me that the government will allow you to travel three times in four years and get you, get, give you a tax exemption on that. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Yes. Are you sure? I think so, yes. That's not how the world works. It's wrong. I'm sorry. All right, the right answer was two, guys. So what happens is when you guys start working, you guys get something called leave travel allowance. It's a part of your salary, right? And you guys get to deduct your taxes by that amount. But unfortunately, the government only give, allows you to do this two times in a block of four years. And it's only for domestic vacations and only in economy flights. That's what it is. All right, next question. This is easy. What is the full form of SIP in mutual funds? Option A, systematic investment portal. Option B, systemic investing program. Option C, systematic insurance plan. Or option D, systematic investment plan. Aravali International School. Option D, systematic investment plan. That's correct. Three points to Aravali International School. All right, next question. What is the annual or monthly payment mode to an insurance company in order to keep your coverage active? Option A, allowance. Option B, stipend. Option C, premium. Or option D, surcharge. Lotus Valley International School. Option C, premium. That's correct. Three points to Lotus Valley International School. Which of these is not a tax-exempted income? Option A, house rent allowance. Option B, Pension, option C, leave travel allowance, or option D, agricultural income. Pathway School, Gurgaon. Pension. Option B, pension, are you sure? Yes. Should I lock it? Yeah, lock it. Freeze it. That's right, Pathway School. Three points to Pathway School. Okay, this is how the points look like. Aravali International is leading the pack with five points. Pathway School, just behind, four points. Lotus Valley, three points. The Heritage, three points. Shiv Nadar Faridabad is minus one, and Shiv Nadar Gurgaon, minus two. All right, next question. Is the goods and services tax, also called GST, categorized as a direct levy or an indirect imposition? Options. Option A, direct. Option B, indirect. Option C, can be both. Or option D, advanced tax. Lotus Valley School. Uh, B, indirect. Option B, indirect is the right answer. Three points to Lotus Valley. All right, next question. Which of these mutual funds are considered a good option for tax saving purposes? Option A, flexi cap funds. Option B, debt funds. Option C, thematic funds. Or option D, ELSS funds. Shiv Nadar School. Option B. Option B, debt funds. Yes. Is the wrong answer. Who is next? The Heritage School. Uh, option D. Option D, ELSS funds. Are you sure? Yes. ELSS, also called Equity Linked Savings Scheme. Yes. You sure? That's the right answer. Heritage School gets three points. Okay, guys, buckle up. We have three questions left in this round. Just three questions. Anything can happen because if you get back to back three points, even if you are in the bottom, back to back three questions can give you nine points. Let's do it. What does an ETF stand for? Option A. Electronic Trading Fund. Option B, Exchange Traded Fund. Option C, Equity Transfer Formula. Or Option D, Economic Trend Finder. <laughs> Pathway School. Option B. Option B, Exchange Traded Fund. Why, bro? You are at the top. And you are continue to be at the top. Correct answer, three points to Pathway School. Next question. What economic indicator measures the average prices received by domestic producers for their output? Option A, CPI. Option B, PPI. Option C, GDP. Or option D, PMI. Lotus Valley School. Uh, PPI, Producer Price Index. 
Option B, PPI. You also knew the full form. Producer Price Index. And that is the right answer. Three points to Lotus Valley School. And the last question of round one. This answer you would probably be knowing even when you were like five years old. It's daddy's. Who is this legendary investor? Option A, George Soros. Option B, Elon Musk. Option C, Benjamin Graham. Or option D, Warren Buffett. Shivna, the Gurugram. Option D, Warren Buffett. Option D, Warren Buffett is the right answer. <laughs> so, in the first round, the first place goes to Lotus Valley with nine points. Fantastic. And the second place goes to Pathway School with seven points. But now let's get to the sad part of the round one. The first team to be eliminated is Shiv Nadar Faridabad with minus two points. And the second team to be eliminated is Shiv Nadar Gurugram with one point. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, this is the end of the journey. And is there something that you would like to share after what you guys went through in the round one? We're going to save some points. The early buzzer on the 30%. I mean, we knew some answers, but we weren't very quick with the buzzer. Yeah. So I think we could have played better. We knew yeah. some answers. Yeah, I think also that initial uh, losing of points would have kind of, you know, caused some you know, mental pressure. Like you went to negative and that could have affected you guys. But it's okay. You guys still know a lot more than most of my friends, right? So that's, that's good. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Uh, you guys played well. You guys knew a lot more than what most people know. And congratulations for making it so far. Yeah, you guys are still among the top students of your school. Welcome to round two, real world finance. We started off with six teams, guys, and now we are down to four teams. Be very, very careful when you're pressing a buzzer this time because the penalty for getting it wrong is very, very expensive. All right, so this round, the questions are gonna get a little harder. As the, as the name suggests, it's real world finance. You're gonna be narrated case studies about real world finance problems and you, as 17 year old students, will have to answer the right question. Are you guys ready? All right, let's begin. Priya is considering investing in two different financial instruments. Instrument A offers a fixed annual return of 8%, while instrument B has a variable return based on market performance. If Priya is in her late 20s, has a high earning predictable career, doesn't have any short term goals whatsoever, which investment should she choose? Options, option A, instrument A. Option B, instrument B. Option C, both A and B. Or option D, neither A or B. Lotus Valley. Uh, instrument B. Option B, instrument B. You're asking her to put her money in market-linked instruments. Yes. Which is like the stock market. Yes. Which is kind of risky. Yes. And the answer is correct, Lotus Valley. You get three points. You guys are the toppers of round one as well. Clearly can see the momentum going. Next question. Rahul is facing difficulty managing his debts. He has a personal loan with a high interest rate and a credit card debt as well. What debt management strategy would you recommend to Rahul? Option A, debt consolidation. Option B, taking a new loan. Option C, ignoring the debts. And option D, increasing the credit card spending. Pathway school. Option A. Option A, debt consolidation is unfortunately not the wrong answer because it is the correct answer. <laughs> Next question. Shreya wants to create a budget to manage her monthly expenses. She earns a monthly income of 25,000 rupees and lives in Delhi in a rented apartment. She is unsure about what percentage of her income should be allocated to discretionary spending. What advice would you give to Shreya? Options. Option A, allocate 50% to discretionary spending. Option B, allocate 10%. Option C, allocate 30% or option D, allocate 80%. Pathway school. Allocate, option C, 10%. Option B, allocate 10% to discretionary spending. That's like 2,500 rupees a month. What will you do with that? High debt. It is the right answer. 
Yes, sir. Pathway School gets it right again. Three points to Pathway School. Mr. Rohit, 55 years old, is planning for his retirement and is considering investing in a mix of stocks and bonds. Given that he has around five to six years left and after which he becomes retired, which of these asset allocation strategy would you recommend to this person? Option A, a conservative portfolio which is more bonds. Option B, an aggressive portfolio which is more stocks. Option C, an equal mix of stocks and bonds. Or option D, no need to invest for retirement. Pathway School. Option A. Option A, conservative portfolio, more bonds. But he has like 30 years of retirement left. Are you sure? He's gonna live until 80, 90. You sure you wanna lock this answer? I need to save for retirement. This guy is too smart. This is a right answer. Three points to Pathway School. Next question. As a finance investor, you have a portfolio heavily concentrated in technology stocks. Given the recent market volatility, where tech companies are facing crash crunch and growth limitations, what steps would you take to address the risk in your portfolio? Option A, sell all the stocks immediately. Option B, maintain the current portfolio. Option C, increase exposure to technology stocks. Or option D, Diversify across different sectors. How did they do it before? Yeah, yeah. It so I'm sorry, uh, Aravalli International School, you will not be allowed to answer because you did not wait till I finished all the options. Who hit the buzzer next? It is Pathway School. Option D, diversify. Option D, diversify across different sectors is the right answer. Three points to Pathway School. You can see the tension build up. We are now at the middle of the round two and there's a clear winner as of now, Pathway School is at 12 freaking points. First place right now. Lotus Valley is at three points. Both of these teams were in the first and second place. Ulta in the round one. So very, very interesting. And Aravalli and the Heritage are both at zero points. You are considering investing in cryptocurrencies but are concerned about their volatility. How would you approach cryptocurrency investments to manage risk? Options. A, invest a large portion of portfolio in cryptocurrencies. Option B, avoid cryptocurrencies completely. C, allocate discretionary fund that you can afford to completely lose. Or option D, invest in crypto derivatives. The Heritage School. Option C. Option C, allocate discretionary fund that you can afford to completely lose. How much would that amount be for you? What? One lakh. One lakh. You are, you are completely okay losing one lakh. Yeah. And you would put that in cryptocurrencies. You want to lock it? Yeah. That's the right answer. Heritage School gets three points and is back in the game. Two friends in India have a revolutionary idea for a new tech startup. They are debating equity split between the two co-founders. What factors should they consider and what advice would you provide to them? Option A, split 50-50 as it avoids any clash in the future. Option B, split 30-70 as unequal stake ensures there is a single decision maker. Option C, split based on the value and skills each founder brings to the table. Or option D, don't split equity at all. Aravalli International School. Option C. Option C, split based on the value and skills of each founder. Are you sure? Because if there's no one decision maker, sometimes it could be a problem. Uh, you just okay. have to say lock it or not. What do you What do you want? Yeah, lock it. You sure? See, until now, whenever I did it, it was always, you know, they locked it and it was the right answer. Maybe I'm, you know? Lock it. You guys are also back in the game. Arwal International School get three points. I'm loving this because the second place is now tied with three teams. What do you guys think now, Lotus Valley? What do you guys think now? We can't press the buzzer much before that. <laughs> We're letting you know the last word. It's, it's a tech, tech, tech problem, sir. What do you guys think? We're gonna catch up. Catch up. Yeah. It's already caught up. You guys are all tied now. No, we're gonna catch up with them. With them? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> There's like. Three questions you can actually. Yeah. What do you think? They're saying you're gonna catch up. 
Like maybe in the next round. Maybe the next round. We try our best. <laughs> All right, let's go. Which statement accurately reflects the common characteristics of hedge funds? Option A, hedge funds are open to retail investors with no minimum investment. Option B, hedge funds typically use high levels of leverage to amplify returns. Option C, hedge funds consistently outperform mutual funds. Or option D, hedge funds are highly regulated and disclose strategies publicly. Lotus Valley. Yeah, that will be option B. Hedge funds typically use high levels of leverage to amplify returns. Lotus Valley is back in the game. Okay, takes the second place back again. Three points to Lotus Valley. All right, two more questions left, guys. Anything can happen. All right, you guys know the math. I don't need to tell you, you guys. It's fresh in your mind, I know it. All right, next question. One of my favorite questions. If you guys have been watching my videos, you will know the right answer. If given the choice between receiving one crore today or five lakhs every year forever, which option would you prefer? There are three options. A, one crore today. B, five lakhs forever, per year forever. Or option C, both are equivalent. Lotus Valley. One, yeah, we'll take one crore today. Yeah. You'll take one crore today, and that is the right answer, Lotus Valley. Lotus Valley clinches the second place, but we'll still take the last three. Let's see if you can come and tie in the first place, just for, you know, just to see if you guys can, you know, it's a pride, matter of pride now. Last question. Krish is buying a ticket to the lottery that costs around 100 rupees, and he has a 1% chance of winning 11,000 rupees as the price. Should he buy the ticket? Four options. Option one, yes. Option two, no. Option three, neutral. Or option D, depends on the person. Heritage school. Option A. Option A, yes. Can you answer me why? Uh, because it's a good risk, that's why. How would you do, do the math? It's 100 rupees for one ticket, right? Yeah. So I think it's a good enough risk for all of the reward. That's the right answer. Three points to Heritage School. Also, before we end this round, I also wanted to ask you guys, why did you guys select one crore today? Who can answer it for me? Yeah, if we invest that in FDs and get an average return of 5 to 6%, we'll have the one crore and also get 5 to 6 lakhs every year. We've seen your video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've seen that very, video. very smart. I like you guys. But no favorites. Because now we're going to go into the final round. I like these guys. This Olympiad guy also is like, I'm going to destroy you now. All right, guys, now let's finally understand who are the teams who are going into the face-off in the last round. The team at the first place right now is Pathway School with 12 points. The second place is Lotus Valley with 9 points. And the teams at the bottom are the Heritage at 6 points and Aravalli School at 3 points. But it's okay, you guys gave them a tough fight, right? They almost broke a sweat. Pressure is on. My God, this is a tiebreaker. I saw your interview with Dhoni. You, he always takes it in the end. Well, yeah. we'll find out about that. Overconfidence is also not good. Both of you are wrong, but you guys get penalized. Pretty sure it was an accident. No, I'm, my bad, my bad. So why are you doing it? Oh my God! Option oh B. God. No, they can still tie. Oh, they can still tie. They got it right. Oh, 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 oh. That is the right answer. 